Hello and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Our first guest with us today is the very lively Dixie. Oh, bless you. Uh, Dixie is an English coon hound. She is actually a transfer for, to our shelter from the Humboldt County, who likes butt rubs. She's a transfer from the Humboldt County uh, Animal Control Program. Uh, she just wasn't getting enough look, uh, people looking at her at their facility and they have such a, they basically use a foster home situation. So she wasn't getting enough attention there at their facility and they asked us for help. So of course, if we have the space here, we're always gonna offer our help to other shelters that are in need. Uh, Cause clearly this is a very deserving dog and uh, wants to tell her own story. Um, Dixie is about two years old from what we understand. She came in as a stray, again, at the Humboldt County uh, Animal Control Program. Uh, so we don't know much about her history, but what they told us about her was that she loves kids, uh, people, other dogs, cats. Um, she loves squeaky toys. Um, yes, yes, I, you like squeaky toys? You're kind of squeaky too. Um, loves squeaky toys. She is a little protective over her toys, so um, even though we said she is good with kids, probably would want to be older kids in the house. Don't want to have any accidents if a little child tries to take away a toy. So um, if you are interested in an English coon hound that just has lots of energy and excitement and just really wants to be around people, come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter. Uh, Dixie is already spayed, uh, current on her vaccinations and ready to go to a forever home. So come on down and take a look at Dixie here at the Ames Animal Shelter. And our next guest today is Ray. Uh, Ray is a very special Chihuahua. Um, she's actually a Chihuahua pug and French Bulldog mix. Um, Ray came from a house with 23 other dogs um, here in Ames. And uh, we actually took in 11 of these dogs. Ray is the last one to find her forever home. Um, we are putting them into foster homes uh, before they get spayed, uh, just to try to get them out of the shelter as soon as possible. Um, these guys are just really fearful. As you can see, she's just shaking here, but a very sweet dog. They're just really scared here in this environment um, and just really not sure what's happening to them. Their world is just completely turned upside down. So we'd like to get Ray into a forever home and a foster home as soon as possible. She is about uh, a little bit over a year old. Um, she has not been spayed, but she of course will be spayed before we do the final adoption. And um, unfortunately with these guys, they were never potty trained. Uh, she is using the doggy um, pee pad on in the shelter here pretty good. So hopefully that will be able to continue until we can maybe teach her that you wanna do potty, all that business outside. So again, this is Ray, she's just a year old. So she's got a long, long life ahead of her and hopefully a life where she can just kinda be with her family and uh, get all the loving that she needs. Again, she's very scared, so you wanna go really slow with her and just give her lots of patience, lots of love. So if you think that Ray uh, might be good for you and your family, um, I would not recommend these dogs with children. So come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter. We'd love to talk to you more about them. And we truly want only serious adopters coming in. We're not gonna take Ray out for everybody, but if you're really serious about adopting Ray, Every time we go to get them, they're not used to a leash. It's very scary for them. So come on down and we'd love to introduce you to Ray um, here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Sega is our final guest today. She's part of our working cat program. Actually, we believe that it's a she. Um, she's also part of the Barton Cat Program here today. So that's part of the semi-feral or feral cats that we have here at the shelter. They're either brought to us in traps or our animal control officers pick them up here in the community um, that have been trapped. So she has not been socialized with humans, so her behavior uh, does not allow us to put her in a regular home environment. Um, and as you'll hear in just a, a minute or so, um, our current cat population doesn't allow us to spend 
Uh, that's what could take sometimes a month or more to try and socialize them to get them to where they are going to be able to uh, be adopted into um, regular homes. Um, even when these uh, cats that haven't been socialized are adopted into regular homes after they have been socialized and worked with uh, here at the shelter, they always tend to be kind of those scaredy cats that when someone comes over, uh, any kind of loud noise, they tend to hide and such. And um, the good thing is that at least these guys are safe and they're going to be safe with us here at the Ames Animal Shelter. So the way our working cat program uh, works is that we get these guys spayed or neutered depending on what sex they are. Um, we have them tested for feline leukemia and feline AIDS, also known as FIV, and make sure that they're negative for both of those diseases. Get them vaccinated, dewormed, and a flea treatment on board with them uh, before they can be adopted out to a working cat situation or a barn home. So what we're looking for typically with those are cats that are going to live outside of the Ames community, like on a farm. Uh, we, as we know, there's a lot of farms around us here um, that need help with rodent control. Now the goal is with these cats that they're always provided uh, adequate food, uh, water, making sure the water is not freezing during the winter, uh, making sure they have lots of water during our hot summer months here. Uh, in Iowa. So there's no charge. The adoption fee for these guys is waived. So um, we actually put quite a bit of uh, uh, money into these guys to get them spayed and neutered, vaccinated, and everything that's done before they go home. But the alternative is euthanizing these cats that haven't been socialized for, uh, with people. And that's just not acceptable. It's not acceptable to me, all of our staff, and not acceptable here in our community. So we're going to give these feral cats a chance at life um, and give them an opportunity to go back into the wild um, where they have thrived and survived um, and make sure that they're going to be provided for with uh, barn cat or working cat adopters. So if you have a farm situation, uh, uh, some kind of a, uh, outbuilding, thing like that where these cats can be provided with shelter uh, during the harsh elements here in, in Ames and or in Iowa, um, come on down. We would love to uh, show you our working cats. We have several of them right now, at least eight of them currently at the shelter. Uh, we're gonna start to do a big push to try to get these working cats adopted out of the shelter. So if you are interested in a working kitty, come on down here to the shelter. We'd love to talk to you about our program um, and uh, hopefully you'd be approved to adopt one of these guys and take them home as soon as possible. Well, that's our show for today, and uh, at the end of the show, I'd just like to say cats, cats, and more cats. Uh, we currently have 58 cats and kittens here at the shelter. Um, I believe, at least since, I know that since I've been here in the five years, um, this is probably an all-time record for us. So it's been a challenging summer, um, so to speak, for us here at the shelter, uh, trying to deal with and take care of and provide the high standards of care that we expect for all of these cats and kittens here at the shelter. Um, we also have 27 kittens that are still in foster care. So it's 58 here at the shelter, 27 still in foster care. So um, it's, been, uh, it's been a challenging summer. Uh, if you're interested in adopting a cat, we'd love to have people come down and, and adopt from us. Uh, please share this with your friends on Facebook. Uh, any way possible you can help get people down here to the shelter, uh, do that. Um, we're going to be having a special adoption promotion, I would say, within the very short, in a short period of time. Um, but want to let people know that uh, anytime we waive adoption fees or we have reduced adoption fees, we're still going to have our strict criteria for adoptions here at the Ames Animal Shelter. So we're going to make sure that all of our cats that are here at the shelter go to indoor homes, that they're not declawed. Um, those are all things that are very important to us and um, our adopters here. So we want to make sure all that will happen and we'll continue to do that even when we have adoption promotions uh, for the cats and the ca uh, kittens here at the shelter. We also have a very special kitty named Whisper and we're going to be putting together a fundraiser to try and get Whisper to a sanctuary. Uh, Whisper is a declawed cat that came to us. Uh, the owner um, had some uh, challenges of her own medical issues that she had to deal with. 
Uh, Whisper is one of those cats that will not hesitate to bite. Uh, he does not have the defense mechanism of the claws anymore because those were declawed. Um, so he tends to bite. Um, so in reality, uh, Whisper is not an adoptable cat here at the Ames Animal Shelter. But unfortunately, due to the uh, surgery that was performed on him, at least possibly, uh, that was performed on him, uh, again, he tends to bite. Uh, so we found a sanctuary that's willing to take him on. Um, it is a $1,500 uh, transfer fee. Uh, so we're going to try to put together a fundraiser so we can save Whisper's life and send him off to a sanctuary where he can live the rest of his life with people that understand cat behavior, um, understand cats that have been declawed, and we'll make sure that he can live out as long as he wants to live in that environment. So got a great sanctuary that we're working with, uh, but we need to be able to get him there to that. So we need your help to save Whisper's life. Again, more about him later, and we'll show you some pictures and hopefully some video of him when we do that uh, fundraising campaign. Uh, $1,500 is a lot of money, but if a lot of individuals pitch in small amounts, we'll get to that $1,500, and Whisper will be out of the shelter, which will open up another cage here at the shelter because we are so full. Um, but Whisper deserves every chance at life, and we're going to make sure that he has that. So. Uh, keep an eye on our uh, videos for that. We're going to talk about Whisper more often and again just all the cats that we have here at the shelter. So come on down, adopt a kitty today.